headlines of this bulletin, the 54th section of the National Assembly Permanent Committee opened. Checking the preparation for the elections of deputies to the 15th National Assembly and People's Council at all levels term 2021-2026 in Vintan District. Inspecting training tests and offering encouragement to new soldiers at Regiment No. 932. Hello, it's great to see you again in this edition of Gunther News and Top News today. On the morning of March 15, the 54th section of the National Assembly Permanent Committee opened at the National Assembly Building. The section takes place in one day with many important contents, preparing for the 11th section of the 14th National Assembly being discussed. In her opening remarks, National Assembly Chairwoman Nguyễn Thị Kim Ngân informed that this was the section to lastly consider the preparations for the upcoming 11th section of the 14th National Assembly and to give opinions for the draft report on the work in the 14th term of the National Assembly and the National Assembly Permanent Committee on personnel tasks on the result of supervising and resolving voters' opinions submitted to the 10th section of the 14th National Assembly and voters' opinions and proposals sent to the 11th section of the 14th National Assembly. National Assembly Chairwoman said that the National Assembly will set aside time to implement personnel tasks perfecting some state posts. Therefore, personnel tasks must be carefully considered at the section, ensuring strict procedure-oriented and formal sections conduct, gaining high consensus from National Assembly deputies. The reports on terms work received comments from the National Assembly Permanent Committee, the Ethic Council, National Assembly Boards and Committees, the Boards of the National Assembly Permanent Committee, National Assembly Delegations and Concerned Officers. During the working day, the National Assembly Permanent Committee continues to consider and discuss the contents, ensuring the holistic, objective and true reflection of the achievements and shortcomings, at the same time highlights renovations and experience of the National Assembly, the National Assembly Permanent Committee in the 14th term and make proposals for handing over to the 15th National Assembly. On the morning of March 15, member of the Permanent Board come head of the Inspection Committee of the City Party Committee Le Vang Thanh and the Inspectorate of the City's Election Committee came to check the preparations for the elections of deputies to the 15th National Assembly and People's Council at all levels term 2021-2026 at Vinh Thanh District. Established in accordance with regulations, the steering board, election committees, subcommittees, assistant groups, along with election boards at district and grassroots levels in Vinh Thanh, focus on strictly implementing preparation steps for election according to specified procedure and schedule. The locality has also arranged 16 people participating in the 15th National Assembly Deputy Election Board and the People's Council Deputy Election Board of the city. The first consultative conference chaired by Vietnam Federal Front Committee of the district agreed upon introducing 62 nominees for 31 deputy posts in the district people's council. At common level, introducing 563 people for 287 deputy posts. The district also proactively developed COVID-19 prevention and control plans and backup solutions. The core contents that Vinh Thanh District shall focus on in time to come are the organization of the second consultative conference and voters' opinions collection for candidates at four levels, the division of polling areas, the making of voter lists and voters' cars. Also on the morning of March 15, the Inspectorate of Gunther City Election Committee, led by member of the City Party Permanent Committee, come Chief Commander of the City Military Headquarters Kim Thống Nhất, came to check the preparations for the elections of deputies to the 15th National Assembly and People's Council at all levels, term 2021-2026 in Gunther District. As of now, the preparations for the elections of deputies to the 15th National Assembly and People's Councils at all levels, term 2021-2026, of the district have been well implemented and are on schedule. The district formed a district people's council deputy election boards, 63 people's council deputy election boards at commons and town levels. After the first consultative conference, 44 offices, organizations and units in Gada district have finished their procedures, introducing 64 candidates to the post of district people's council deputies and 546 candidates to the post of people's council deputies at common level. The preparations for the second consultative conference is underway. 
On the morning of March 15, Deputy Commander, Com Chief of Staff of Gunther Military Headwaters, Senior Colonel Hun Vang Phuong, came to inspect training tasks and offer encouragement to new soldier at Regiment No. 932. After the reception of new soldiers joining the military service on March 3rd, the soldiers were arranged in the new soldier training company. From the first days in the military environment, the soldiers are introduced about the tradition of armed forces and the units, barracks landscape, interior order, and equipment was neatly arranged, creating good impressions for new soldiers. Battalion and company officers met, share experience, and encourage new soldiers to overcome difficulties, rest assured, be determined, and ready for training section. Commissar of the city military headquarters, Senior Colonel Pham Ngoc Wang, came to visit and offer encouragement to the new soldier under training on the fields. He also requested the command of Regiment No. 932 to facilitate and assist new soldiers in training, both physically and mentally. Carrying out the plan for issuing chip-based ID cards for citizens from 14 years of age and those whose ID cards are expired, damaged or lost, Kairang District Public Security arranged the reception group at the District Public Security and a mobile reception group at Tung Fu Ward. The public security folks arranged 20 officers on duty for three shifts a day to accept and process citizens' registration. The cases with errors in household documents were instructed for timely supplies, shortened waiting time. From March 10 until now, the District Public Security have received nearly 1,400 files for Chief Bay ID cards issuance, including both new issuance and replacement. The mobile group also received nearly 1,000 citizens' files. The public security folks will maintain three shifts a day to meet people's needs in issuing chip based ID cards and add more mobile groups in the remaining wards of the district. Responding to the complicated and increasing situation of traffic accidents, Traffic Police Nationwide will launch the peak campaign for checking violation relating to alcohol level. Joining the campaign, Traffic Police of Gunther City, Public Security and of the districts focus on organizing patrols and inspection, including arranging five inspection groups in one day to check and handle violations in accordance with Decree No. 100 of the government for drunk driving or driving under order influence. The routes under inspection are expressway, inner city routes and the crowded routes with pubs. When checking the alcohol level, authorities will ensure COVID-19 preventive tests for both officers and traffic participants. The project of Jainop River and Thai landslide embankment, the section of Thai Andong Ward, is considered an urgent project to end landslide along the bank of Jainop River, stabilizing people's lives and travel in Thai Andong Ward, Bun Thoi District, Gunther City. The project is expected to be completed on the occasion of the South Liberation and National Unification Day of April 30th. The project is invested by Gunther City Irrigation Bureau with the construction funds of over 15 billion Vietnam dong taken from state budget and was started in 2019. As of now, the embankment wall, embankment base, stairs and the subordinating parks like traffic road, drainage system and the pavement tiling have been basically completed. Two landslides have taken place at the river section, damaging five houses and traffic roads with total loss of millions of domes. Completing the embankment in river section in Thái Anh Đông Ward will not only ensure safe travel, but will also stabilize people's lives as well as secure the Ward's People's Committee building. Leaders of Thok Nop District People's Committee has just come to survey tourism development locations in the area of Tung Lop Ward. The delegation surveyed the locations planned for tourism development in Tung Mi 2 area, Tung Lok Wat, like Tung Lok Eco Garden and Duk Thanh Viet Gap Fish Farm to learn about their signature products, material sources, scaled area, infrastructure and equipment for production, thereby assist businesses and households to effectively harness agricultural products for developing ecotourism, associating with the native river culture and lifestyle. Unique tourism products will be developed from that making Thok Nok one of the attractive destinations for community-based tourism and leisure travel. The delegation also surveyed other locations like Up M Fish Processing Unit, Up Ba Dra Fish Cake Maker, Wooden Stem Grapefruit Garden and Bang Lang Stock Sanctuary. Up next, let's have a look at the weather forecast.
That is all for this edition of Gunto News. To watch the bulletin again, you can log on to our website at gunto.tv.vn. And now, thank you so much for being with us. Goodbye, and see you next time.